In this video, we will look at how we can use the equation of a line to find the graph that matches the line. We can graph a linear equation by first identifying the slope and y-intercept of the line. Once we have identified this key information, we will start the graph at the y-intercept, and then we will use the slope to change to the next point. As we do, we will remember that slope is found by taking the rise over the run. Let's take a look at an example where we can see the graph found from the equation of the line. In this equation, y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 2, we remember that slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. From this, we can quickly identify that m, the slope, is negative 3 fourths, and b, the y-intercept, is 2. We will always start the graph at the y-intercept, at 2. This means on the vertical axis, the y-axis, the graph is going to cross at exactly the point 2. To find our next point, we use the slope, which is rise over run. Remember the negative, we will tend to keep with the numerator. So we will think about that as a rise of negative 3 and a run of 4 to get to our next point. By connecting these dots, we get the line that goes with the equation y equals negative 3 fourths plus 2. As we attempt to work through this process, the equation won't always be set up in y equals mx plus b, or slope-intercept form. In this case, we will have to solve for y in order to first identify the key information. We will do this by subtracting 3x from both sides. As we do, we have negative 2y equals... Remember, on the right side, these are not like terms, so they cannot be combined. Negative 3x plus 2. To get the y alone, we divide both sides by negative 2. As we divide by negative 2, it is important to divide each and every term by 2. The negatives come to a positive, and we get 3 halves x minus 1. Because slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b, we can now easily and quickly identify m, the slope, is 3 halves, and b, the y-intercept, is negative 1. Using this key information, we can make our graph starting at the y-intercept of negative 1. This is where the graph crosses the y-axis at negative 1. From there, we can find our next point. Slope is from the slope, using rise over run. This means our graph will rise 3 and run 2 units. From our point, we rise 1, 2, 3 units, and run 1, 2 units to get to our next point. By connecting the dots, we will end up with the graph of our line. This is the line that rep is represented by the equation 3x minus 2y equals 2. To graph lines, we always start at the y-intercept and use the slope to get to the next point.